I want our own toilet in the house, I told my mama. Don't be silly, she said. We don't have running water or a sewer. How are we going to have our own indoor toilet? Then one day, a nice man visited in a truck. It was full to the top with shiny new toilets. Being the toilet man is a job that brings happiness to my customers and one that makes me a living. I have a contract to sell and service the toilets. It's an idea that came from some scientists in England. We have designed a household scale sit down toilet that families will aspire to have in their homes. Crucially, the odor is controlled in the toilet. It's true, it really doesn't smell, which is great as we keep it in the house. Why isn't it smelly? Well, it's a toilet bowl with a rotating ceiling flush. Once the user has finished and closes the lid, it forces the drum to rotate through 270 degrees, keeping a constant smell barrier. The waste then empties into the holding chamber below, without the need for water or power. At the three-quarter turn point, a scraper wipes the drum clean. It's a true flush-and-forget mechanism. The waste is now in the holding tank. The solids collect at the bottom, while the liquid floats on top. Pure water in vapour form, without any pathogens, then passes into the membrane bundles, where it's driven along by a sweep gas. The vapour then enters the large columns at the back of the toilet, which contain nano-coated hydrophilic beads. As the vapour passes over the beads, it condenses. The pathogen-free water then drips down a collection pipe and drains into a water tank, which doubles as a step at the front of the toilet. This water is very handy. We use it for cleaning and for watering our plants. The dewatered sludge, which is collected at the bottom of the angled tank, is carried away by an Archimedes screw. The screw lifts the solid waste to the top of a misting chamber, a tunnel that drops at 90 degrees. As the waste falls and lands, it is coated by a paraffin wax that stops the pathogens and odors from escaping while letting the solid waste dry out. Every week, the man comes to empty our toilet. I remove the waste bag and take it with others to the thermal processing plant. They pay me regularly for this service and I deliver batteries if needed to power the toilet. There is a reliable off-grid power source for the toilet also, human power. If the battery is low, my brother charges it by riding the bicycle or I use a special hand crank. Easy. Under my contract, I service each toilet every six months. I replace the spray, take the membranes away for regeneration and put in new sets. I can also produce a fertilizer to sell by recovering the nitrogen-based nutrients collected on the toilet bead module, which I remove during the service. This extra income means I charge my customers under 5 US cents per user per day. Which are pennies well spent, as this one toilet has changed the lives and improved the health of my whole family. The difference one toilet can make. <laughs>